welcome to the second half of the Sonic 3 and Knuckles walkthrough. Uh, why is it a second half? Because this time I'm going to be doing the other half with Knuckles. Now, because of some camera light balance problems that I had, I already did up to Zone 6. I'll be going to Zone 7 later. So this is actually take 2 of this walkthrough. Um, because... The first time that I did this, I had some white balance problems. I left it on auto. That was not a good idea. This grass right here was more like a bluish green. It went to like a tungsten setting instead, instead of daylight setting. So I must always remember to uh, put it on the daylight setting first before I start any walkthrough. Okay, the controls, A button or B button to jump, even the C button jumps, press down to go down, up to go up to look up, left to go left, right to go right, press down, then press the jump button to do a spin dash, press the jump button in midair to glide. Now that that is over with, let's go to the second half of this walkthrough, and hopefully it'll turn out well in the first take of it, because of that dang light balance, pro uh, white balance problem. But the rest of the footage seemed to uh, come out okay. But uh, what I'm going to do is cut off to, uh, uh, by the way, there's a special ring here. I just thought I'd show you that for I don't know what reason, and I'm just going to leave it right away, <laughs> like hitting the red sphere. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to redo this part because it's going to be really quick. Um, it's just the first level of the game. It looked all bluish green. Even the fire portion of it did, So, and I didn't like that one bit. Um, the other reason why I'm uh, doing, I should say, knuckle side of this walkthrough, you know, uh, the, because I'm doing knuckle side of the walkthrough is because the stages are sometimes quite a bit different and sometimes harder than uh, the stages with Sonic and Tails alone. So I think that'll be a interesting, different experience than the first time around. And a lot of other people mention that to me as well because of... Uh, that without doing Knuckles aside, uh, I'm missing out on a lot of the rest of the game, I should say. The, the other side of the game, Knuckles side of the story. And I, I said it's Knuckles side like 50 times by now, but you get the idea. Um, so, and another reason why I am doing Knuckles aside is uh, because I know I've improved a lot as a walkthrough since I started. I did this walkthrough like over a year ago, and I think it would be kind of fun to look back at the quality of this walkthrough compared to... Uh, the quality of my older version of this walkthrough with just Sonic and Tails. So, uh, whoops, <laughs> unless I just screw up all over the place like that. Uh, or I just screw up all over the place like that, too. Uh, yeah, that's a new attack are those missiles that he just shoots in three different spots. It's not really a big deal. Uh, hit him, wait for the fire to go above your head, and then keep hitting him like that. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a, a lot of fun seeing just how much I've improved over a full year's time in terms of commentary as well as filming work. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough, uh, however long it takes me to do it. Uh, uh, I should say the second half of this walkthrough. So, technically, this walkthrough has uh, taken me over a year to do. Ouch. <laughs> it, you know, if you want to look at the technical side of things. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. If you glide at a wall, uh, you'll be able to grip onto it. Like, if you do one of these, and you can't grip onto certain things like spikes, but you can grip onto uh, walls and you glide onto them. Certain walls, I should say. Um, so that uh, increases your, uh, how do I put it, uh, traveling op ah, traveling options. I did not mean to climb up there. Uh, so you can get to a lot of different secrets and you wouldn't be able to on uh, Sonic or Tails file. Granted, Tails can fly. Oh God, flower. Um, but he, he, Tails sometimes can't get to the, ah, what the heck. Dang flower spiky thingy. Flowers should be banned. <laughs> I'm suing <coughs> Stein Gardens and Gifts. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, as I was saying, uh, Tails can't get to certain spots because he can't fly as high as Knuckles can climb in certain places. So it's interesting. Dang it! It's interesting to uh, look at different characters' uh, perspectives on the game. I should say different characters' gameplay on the game. And I just wanted to get that ring just to be safe. If you didn't notice that. So, yeah! And the boss is coming up soon, if I'm not mistaken. I just gotta bust through this wall. Um, maybe it's not coming up. I thought it was coming up here. What am I talking about? I just went through this game like a little while ago. How could I have forgot? I should say, ah! Or I, could, I should say I forgot uh, what it is, and I was already through this game a little while ago. Okay, here comes the boss. It's a very waterfall -y boss, and you remember this boss, right? Well, it's got a slight different uh, attack pattern. It goes like one... Two, two, one. Like it, uh, one, 
then you jump over this, then you jump over two, and then you jump over the one, like that. Uh, that's its new attack pattern, and that makes it slightly more unpredictable. One, one, two, one, just like that. Uh, that and that's basically the boss there, there's no problem whatsoever. Um, so I guess that's it for my little redo of this portion of the walkthrough because of the dang white balance problem. So I'm going to hit this and cut to where I was before. I'll see you guys then. Cha-ching! Uh, so yeah, I'm... That's... What the heck? He just went right through the floor. And I guess we're going to Hydrocity Zone now. And it's very wet, and there's some spiky dudes right here. Oh, another thing that I should note about uh, Knuckles here is that he doesn't uh, jump as high as Sonic and Tails would. So, um, the jumps, like in this zone that you're going to see later, and even some of the bosses, are a lot harder. And I'm going to take this route again for the fun of it, just like I did in my first walkthrough where I kept falling. I don't know why I kept doing that. It's really not that hard to get through this. See, I... Oh, uh, uh, okay, see, see, not hard at all. I was just choking all over the place in my first walkthrough of this game. Which is another reason why I would like to uh, sh uh, show my improvements compared to my older work. I highly recommend that you watch my older uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles walkthrough. Just for the laughs, just to see how much I've improved in both skill uh, and uh, commentary, so to speak. And, uh, well, shoot, I wanted, to, I wanted to ride on top of that, actually. I needed to ride on top of that. You, go away. If those things latch onto you... Oh, I, no, I couldn't ride on top of that. Excuse me for that. I need to go on these things. Um, if those things latch onto you, you'll have trouble... Sh you have to try and shake them off with the contr Ow! control pad. And, uh, uh... Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me. Before they sap all your rings and I'm running out of air. Get out of the water fast, no goals. I know the exit to the water is coming quickly here. Uh, wait, here's some bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, pooper scoopers. I shouldn't have gone so fast. <laughs> I have to start from the beginning? Alright, I decided to start back over here by the spiky portion here with those... Oh god, I got... To... No, why do I keep doing stupid stuff like that? Go, go, oh shoot, no, 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 no. Oh, it was gripped onto me, one of those uh, piranha critters there. But that's okay, I shook him off somehow with my spinny powers. And this time, get a bubble. Whew. No more drowning. Oh man, I could have actually raced to the finish. I was I was right next to the uh, opening to the air. Dang it! Uh, I didn't even have to wait for those uh, two or so seconds. I shouldn't even call them seconds. They're a lot different than that. Okay, for this boss, as you can see, you don't actually jump out of the water now because uh, you don't have the height to do it. Uh, so you gotta try and be very careful here. Now you should come around the other side just like that. And now he's going to start, there we go, and I'll give him a couple hits, and, oh, I missed, ow, I hope I hit some rings, okay, there we go, that would have been kind of scary, and let's hit him, yay, and let me hit him again, no, I won't be able to, will I, he's going to come from the left, right, no, he's going to come from the right, ah, oh, shoot, and now he's going to come from the left, so, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, <laughs> that was a near disaster, and he's dead, Yeah, as you can see, since Knuckles can't jump out of the water like Sonic could to get some air, or even jump over the boss anytime that you want to without having to spin out of that little half pipe, it changes the entire boss's difficulty around to a much higher difficulty. Well, not that much higher, because as you've seen, you just have to spin outside of it. But it works, and uh, if, if you know what you're doing, so to 